Plus here. I uh, run film festivals and I also produce movies and I write books about film. And I know that you have been to many film festivals. <coughs> Can you please tell us more about it? Like, which one is the most interesting to you? Well, every film festival is different, of course. Um, but basically, there are three main film festivals in the world. Um, it's Cannes, Berlin, and Venice, uh, which are the three main uh, festivals, which is followed by both the audiences and the, mainly the industry. Uh, that's where you'll find a lot of world premieres of uh, new films. Uh, and then there's also Toronto in Canada, which is also an important film festival. Uh, there are also quite a lot of premieres there, particularly of um, North American films in the run-up to the Oscars. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> is there one film festival that interested you most? or? Well, I think... Um, as I said, each film festival has a different characteristic, so mm -hmm. I don't actually um, think there's one particular film festival, uh, although uh, because of my history, I uh, of course have a particular um, affection for the Hong Kong International Film Festival, which I used to run, and also the Berlin Film Festival, the Berlinale, which I've always found uh, to be a very interesting festival. It has different sections. Um, and is one of the more, how should I say, user-friendly uh, film festivals out there. They show a lot of films, uh, almost 400, uh, compared to, say, Hong Kong, which shows around 250. Um, but in Berlin, they have different sections that deal with both uh, uh, maybe perhaps more commercial films in competition um, and also auteur uh, and art house films in the panorama and the forum section. And I have a particular af affection for the Berlinale because uh, that was the festival that first showed my own films. Okay, so are there any films that you watched in this film festival you really enjoyed? Um, I've seen some of the films, um, not everything. Uh, I think that uh, they are um, interesting. Um, I would say that uh, I haven't actually, um, sorry, I better start again. <laughs> I've seen some of the films in this year's festival, not everything, of course. Uh, it's quite an interesting range of works. Um, I watched a, a film like Norman, which is an indie sci-fi film, and then The Legend of the Pendant, which is a Chinese um, folk tale myth uh, film. So that gives them an idea of the range. Um, I think, um, the films are not bad. Uh, there was nothing, though, truly outstanding for me. So, what are your future projects? Can you introduce some for us? Well, um, I'm, uh, I'm still an advisor to different film festivals. Uh, I help out uh, at the Hainan Island International Film Festival in China uh, and the Toronto Real Asian Festival. Uh, in Canada, <clears throat> and I've been a long-term uh, consultant for the Far East Film Festival in Udine in Italy. And I used to run the uh, Asian Film Awards Academy, and I'm now their advisor. We have a lot of interesting projects in the Asian Film Awards Academy. Um, we send students uh, from Hong Kong uh, to film festivals to give them a film festival experience. And I also started a program of sending um, young professionals uh, overseas for post-production training in say, places like Germany. Uh, and recently we've been sending some people to Bologna in the Cineteca to participate in the film restoration course. Um, film restoration of classic films is becoming something of a business now because a lot of film companies have libraries of old films and um, the restoration of these films actually makes them available again for commercial exploitation like selling to TV and uh, online streaming. So I think there is something of a future career in film restoration. And I'm also uh, producing some films um, basically uh, probably in, uh, in the Philippines and um, in some other parts of the world. Okay, so thanks a lot for coming and please enjoy the film festival. Thank you.